You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Week Cool Podcast. Podcast where we apologize, demand apologies, and read anonymous listener apologies. Grant Winkle's here. We have the abridged version of the podcast today. Sitting here to my left is Ryan Call. Ryan, hello. The director's cut. What's up? <laughs> but this cri- time, this time we cut something out. We don't yeah. add stuff back in. Criterion collection. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're gonna have Short to subscribe. You're gonna have to subscribe to the Patreon for the DVD extras, cutscenes, the but, commentary yeah. section. We'll do commentary over the commentary. <laughs> <laughs> we should do commentary yeah. on the podcast one day. Speaking <laughs> of director's cut, when I was cut, talking about this at this pod point, I was thinking about this. <laughs> oh, this is a great bit. This is a great bit coming up here. I was going to say. I was going to say something, but then Tommy interrupted me, <laughs> and uh, I, was I never to got say to say it. It was so. really funny. Yeah. Just e- interrupting each other on yeah, the commentary. Yeah, yeah. But speaking <laughs> speaking of directors, comment- you do a commentary on the commentary track. <laughs> we got famed, acclaimed, estranged. Hall of Fame. Wait, you already said famed. Joey Hamburger in the building, in the mix, in person, live and direct. Hello, welcome. <laughs> What's up? Hello. How's it going? <laughs> you got Goku pants on. I do, I do. I these pants rule, dude. I love these. Nice for the pants. listeners, right? <laughs> for <laughs> the <laughs> listeners, Joey has Goku pants I on. Got Goku <laughs> pants on. You know what those are. <laughs> you might, you Every, might know exactly what Goku pants I are. I think I just learned what they are, and I still don't <laughs> think I know. Um yeah. Joey, how you feeling? How does it feel to be back in Minneapolis? That's what good. just what what you've been up to man tell the listeners oh man i i got into town and i've been working and biking and sleeping at my parents house and it was really goofy my so my parents have i have a mirror in my 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 parents house and uh I get home every night at like three in the morning after being out drinking and I bike all the way home. Like it's like a 45 minute bike ride. And when I get home, I like to stretch myself out by dancing. And so I get in my boxers and the other night I was like dancing and like stretching out my spine and my mom came down. What? She hasn't seen me in months and I'm just there like stretching my full spine, full Joaquin dancing. Phoenix yeah, and the yeah, Joker. Yeah, yeah. She's like, she, she goes, oh, hey. <laughs> your, mom's, your mom's just like, what is art done to my son? <laughs> what the fuck? What is this? Dude, you were fucked up before you left for New York, I gotta say, you have been New Yorkified even more. Oh, yeah, you were the most, you were the most Brooklyn man in <laughs> Minneapolis, and I don't, I don't even know what. Like, do you like it there? I really like it. I yeah. really love it. Yeah, you keep yeah. claiming you're gonna come back. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent certain you. Will. I think I'll, I'm, I'm gonna move somewhere else or come back. Yeah, but it okay. is, it is every time I come back, I. I'm like, I'm like, it's like a mix between like, oh, this is so fun to visit. And also like, I hate this fucking city. Like it's like, yeah. it's like this, this back and forth where it's like the thing, but I don't know. I like it a lot living there. It's Do sweet. you think people feel like that no matter where they're like from? Yeah. And I've been here for 31 years. Yeah. You know? It's just like, it's a long time. Mm-hmm. Where do people who grow up in New York, where do they go? You know? Yeah. That's a good question. I think a small? lot of them stay, don't they? Don't a lot. Well, you would think so. I actually think there's an article that just came out recently about how everyone from New York is moving to Denver, Minneapolis, really? and Austin. Yeah, New York Times. Someone quoted this to me. I was talking to a person in New York. They quoted this article. I didn't read it. But okay. they, Damn, said, they said it to me, and now I'm quoting the and now New York you're, Times. Now so. you're spreading it yeah. into yeah. the blogosphere. <laughs> spreading to the vlog world. That's what, that's what where our, our podcast lives. We're in the, the blogosphere? Yeah. What is the blogosphere? Explain it. To You're me. in it right Ex- now, brother. Fuck. Look around you. <laughs> I hate the fucking have blog. You, uh, have you ever heard of the Matrix? It's yeah. a little yeah. something yeah. like yeah, that. Matrix, but Tumblr. <laughs> 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 you take the red pill. You you get to fucking get really upset yeah. about little details. And then you get to see a bunch of goth girls' nudes on Tumblr. Okay, um, I take the pill. Yeah, yeah definitely. Oh wait, I had a. Fun, I was laughing about that too. Is like the. It's like if he had a, you know, it's the red or the blue pill, but what if he had like a bunch of different pills? So if you mm-hmm. take the red pill, if you take the blue pill. Yeah. And we also got some of these other pills. We got this white. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's just Marvius is just a drug dealer. Yeah. White, yeah. white, yeah. white Rolexes. <laughs> yeah. Just the old ecstasy yeah. names. Yeah. These are blue dolphins. <laughs> mm. White Rolexes. Those are the only ones I know. What about, you know how those guys that always in, in cartoons and in pop culture, they always have the trench coat? 
and they open it and they have mm-hmm. all the drugs like sewn into the trench coat. Mm-hmm. What about that guy? But he's just got a bunch of booze and he's clanging around. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, clang, clang, clang. <laughs> he's I got super a deal. heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Brother, he's also drunk. <laughs> he's just, he walks out of the liquor store yeah. and it's, it's just children uh, yeah. are waiting to buy booze. <laughs> I from mean, him. you just described homeless people. Yeah, <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. Oh my god, dude! I thought yeah. you were gonna say in cartoons and Popeye culture <laughs> instead of popular culture. Um, yeah. Did you guys Popeyes. ever have a... <laughs> what about Popeye's culture? What about that? Yeah. That's a thing. Popeye's culture? Popeye's... <laughs> this isn't your... This isn't your Popeye's culture. <laughs> this is... This is your eyes culture, you know? This is... I not like not your dad's, yeah, not your I'm father's not, dude, root I am beer. Not firing on all cylinders. <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm burnt out. I'm burnt. I'm burnt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we. Uh, so this is uh, day three after Joey and I shut down the bar two nights in a row. Yeah, as we yeah, do, yeah, yeah. dude. And, and it's still there's still tonight too. Yeah, so I'm. I'm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm. I'm staying. I'm staying chased tonight. I'm gonna. I'm gonna really? do my show and then probably go home. Yeah, nice, nice, I, that's good. I just. Uh, yeah, it's been busy. It's been a busy week. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was really crazy. But goddamn, dude, right in the thick of it, it's fun. Oh yeah, dude. I, I that's like the that that's like one of the more. And on Wednesday night, I ended up going out too to like four a.m. when I got into town on Wednesday because I saw some friends and went and hung out with like these skater guys at their house. But it's just like it's been yeah. like it's been every time I come home, I feel like it's like a marathon of like going just basically bringing back like 4 a.m call like call times to like everything yeah nice. what's uh what would you guys say is your favorite part of just getting fucked up <laughs> <laughs> honestly when you get to my favorite thing in the world is when we when a bunch of group of people get to a point where it's like two in the morning and nobody's really saying anything anymore. We're just all going, oh, 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 oh. loudly scream laughing. Yeah, yeah, just scream laughing over garbage, over nonsense. Yeah. That's my favorite. Yeah. yeah, doing that. Me and my friends, we do that over Garfield comics. Yeah. <laughs> You're reading, <laughs> like, Mondays! <laughs> Look at what he's thinking. <laughs> John doesn't even know. <laughs> John has no idea. John ideas. Arbuckle is a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I watched like this deep dive YouTube video on Garfield. Yeah. Like it was like four hours long and it was just about uh, <laughs> like how John represents like the the guy who like the author of Garfield mm-hmm. and how like. Who is the author? Uh, Jim Henson, I think. Okay. Maybe? No, or no, that's, that's Muppets. Muppets. Yeah. <laughs> Either way. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just say it's Jim Henson and move on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, Sounds it's good. some Jim Henson. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Affiliated. Yeah, yeah, he's like, he's a Adjacent. lateral. Uh, yeah. Totally. Yeah. And like a Gary Larson, you yeah. know, like, damn. Who's dude, Gary Larson? He did the Far Side comics. Okay. Dude, that's these, probably these cartoonists really had a fucking heyday, like, mm-hmm. in the 90s, didn't, like. They're all billionaires. Like, Gary Larson was a huge part of popular culture for probably a decade. Yeah. Um, but I want to hear the rest of this. This but, uh, yeah, it's like it was really sad because everyone hates John, you know, and like mm-hmm. thinks John's such a dumbass, and uh, he's John, you know. Like originally, I think oh. the Garfield comics it started as something else, and Garfield wasn't even in it. And then they were like, "Well, we gotta get people involved." And he's like, "Well, I got a, an orange cat." He had an orange cat. Wait, he's so like, it was just about name. John? I'm pretty sure. I think it was just John's <laughs> world or something. And it's just, just some a loser. Sad, yeah, my guy. Just, um, he's about to get fired from his his cartoonist Constantly. job. Um, but then, like, it talks about how like Garfield exploded and like uh, it like uh, made him a billionaire. But it's also <laughs> It's got to be a little bit sad because you're like, he couldn't do it on his own with John's world. Mm-hmm. It needed, was his cat. He needed Garfield. Yeah. Really, yeah. You know? um, Damn, dude. And then it talked about, like, what the internet's done to the Garfield, and that's really interesting, like, just with, like... Like, the, now you can get super buff Garfields. And yeah, like, and also, like, horror Garfield. There's, like, a big, like, subreddit where it's just, like... Uh, People draw a gar- scary Garfield, and it's like, I'm sorry, John. You know, like he's like he's like about to eat his ass. You know, he's like he's like this like Cthulhu like uh, like entity. You know, dude, that yeah. it sounds fucking awesome. Actually, it's honestly pretty sick. It's a fun subreddit. I used to watch the Garfield cartoon. I really enjoyed I don't think that. I watched I Garfield. That. Yeah. It was good. I watch on sick days. When yeah, I, I liked kid. it. Yeah. Yeah, it was that in like child Scooby Doo, but they were all children. You I remember d- that. Like it was like mm-hmm. it was the Scooby Doo version, was but Scrappy it was Scrappy Doo. Or is that something else? Might be Scrappy, Scrappy Doo was yeah, that's a baby Scooby, I think. Yeah, and it was like all of them, but they were like just kids Scooby Doo. Dude, like it was on during the day. Scooby Doo was one of those like 
shows that I wasn't um, exposed to, like when I was the right age to see it. So the first time I saw it, I was probably like 11 years old. And it just like, I hated it so really? much because 11, I feel like is a good age. For you're like this dude. fucking dumb dude dog. for real. Like, yeah. I was thing. like, I was like, dude, I, I read the Hardy boys, dude. That's so much more realistic. And, but I like it also like, there's a thing about TV shows from like the eighties and kind of earlier where the color palette, like makes me feel like physically sick, Interesting. Like, yeah, yeah. like nauseous almost. Like I think of like mash, or like uh, just these t- like they're all like kind of brown muted, like yeah, yeah like sepia to this day, it almost still feels like that or I, when probably you were a kid? It, it was definitely when I was a kid but I don't know I haven't revisited Mash well, <laughs> recently maybe time, yeah maybe, maybe it it's is time to rewatch Scooby Doo yeah um, <laughs> Scooby Doo I had that when I was a kid like if uh, if I didn't like the art design of a cartoon yeah, yeah. there's no fucking way I'm yeah. watching that Ed, Ed and Eddie I hated it I really hated I, loved I hated, I hated, I hated the, illust- the, the 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 cartoon <laughs> style and stuff same was with. Uh, I did not like Courage the Cowardly Dog. But Courage the Cowardly Dog is weird. Two it was of my wild. favorite shows. Really? Man, Damn. Child, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. If you say Teletubbies, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my Tinky Winky era right now, brother. I'm in my Sun Baby era. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. I'm watching over stuff. I'm giggling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, You're I'm, presiding I'm, over your realm. I dude. just shit my <laughs> pants. Nobody knows. You can just see my head. I. You know what's funny is I think of the Teletubbies. I find them inherently sexual. Because really? yeah, hmm. Ex- yeah, expand on. It. <laughs> <laughs> but they do. I I think it's because when we were kids, we people sexualized the Teletubbies so much, and uh, I, I do remember <laughs> that. I remember that <laughs> kind of. Like, I want to fuck the Teletubbies. <laughs> you cut to me as a child. I'm fucking the hole in both. Head. <laughs> I want to fuck the blue one, <laughs> purple one. I don't think there was a blue one. Purple, no, yellow, red. What is green? Light yellow, green. Yellow, red, like purple. Green. Yeah, I think if you if you could fuck any of the Teletubbies, which one would you fuck and why? Um, I don't know their names. Well, there's Tinky Winky. Okay, he's the probably he's, Tinky Winky just by the name. He's yeah. the purple one. Purple Who, one. Who's po, the I alpha? Think is red. Well, which is I the think alpha? Tinky Winky's the alpha, dude. Tinky Winky. And Tinky. then I don't know the other one. Then here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go prison yard style, and I'm gonna fuck Tinky I, Winky. I think because we were just kids. to establish dominance. Well, we were kids, I think I remember was, this. I think I remember. Like this one's the gay one, the Teletubby. Yeah. So I, I think, do but, remember that. Yes, And so I think that like added like an inherent sexual nature then to the. Which is fucked up. Did they catch him like at a at a men's sauna? <laughs> He's the one who tapped the foot yeah. under the, the okay, airplane. Well, imagine, the imagine publicity paparazzi, but it's the Teletubbies. <laughs> yeah. They're, like They're like covering like their face and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they Come catch. on, dripping down from his chin. Okay, so we got Dipsy. That's that's the, oh, I'm that's fucking the light Dipsy, green bro. one. And then Lala is the yellow one. Yes, yeah, Lala is the yellow one. And Dipsy then, sounds like a fun hang, yeah. honestly. Like <laughs> Dipsy. Yo, what are you doing tonight? I'm, Why hanging, was out, Teletubbies I'm hanging out with Dipsy. Oh, I'm hanging out with Dipsy. Dipsy. It, it was deemed too traumatizing for young viewers. What? Really? Really? One huh. review from 1997 even dubbed the scene dubbed a scene from the Teletubbies as the greatest horror film <laughs> of all time. Well, that's not that's that's a yeah, uh, what? hyperbole, yeah. right? Yeah, that's awesome. Is there a fifth Teletubby? No. Um, <laughs> Is the Teletubbies based on real life? Hell oh, yeah, dude. I love <laughs> Why did the Teletubbies go to jail? What the fuck? Dude, the Teletubbies broke up, man. <laughs> it's a sad day, bro. Damn, that would dude. be funny. You know how they did the Blues Clues where the guy or the guy from Blues Clues came out and he was like, hey, we're going through a weird time. If the baby from Teletubbies came mm-hmm. out, I was like, hey, it's a bit of weird time. Yeah, all of a sudden, <laughs> the baby starts talking. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. like, what the fuck? That baby, though, has got to be a person now. It's That's what we're we talking about. Yeah. They have talking a, they're having a re- oh, really? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Yeah, they're doing a Teletubbies <laughs> rewatch podcast. Hey, right, welcome to Talking Tubbies. Today we own, we got Baby Gronk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, He's a men's baby. rights activist. <laughs> <laughs> Tinky, Tinky Winky is on like Matt Walsh's podcast. Are you, are you guys what? following the Baby Gronk saga? No, I, don't I don't know. I just looked at his Instagram today. Yeah. What is Baby Gronk? Baby Gronk is an 11 year old that. His dad is like this fucking monster who's like, yeah, my son will be like a heel in child sports. And uh, (laughs) he has like offers from like LSU and like, he's like a little 11 year old who plays tight end football. Okay. And uh, oh, apparently, apparently he's like, okay, right? Like he's like pretty good. But his dad is like marketed him. Was Gronk a heel for real? 
No, no he wasn't. No, but right? baby he was, But it's great okay. marketing because Gronk is like synonymous with tight end. Who are like I mean? uh, who are like heel football players? Um, like T.O. Who, who's the guy who or uh, Ocho Cinco maybe? Maybe, but they're fun, dude. Like the guy who's spitting, uh, Bill Romanowski. I think he's spitting like somebody's face, like in the Super Bowl. <laughs> and Dominican Sue. And Dominican Sue is a yeah, great example yeah. of a heel. Um, you got you almost have to be a defensive player, I think, to be. Yeah, like, a yeah bad I think guy. it's a defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like uh, uh, who's the big inter- cornerback who intercepted all the time? He, he Sherman. Was, Richard no, Sherman? he was buddies with uh, with uh, Mike Zimmer. He was always getting Harrison. No, he's an old. He was an old school guy. Uh, oh. And, uh, well, he played for the Falcons. I can't remember the cornerback's okay. name, but he was—he's kind of like a classic heel. Yeah. There's that AFL player. What about the '90s? He hate me. What about? He was a good heel. Was LT a heel? Uh, Ladanian Tomlinson or the, Lawrence Taylor? Lawrence Taylor. I don't think he so. Was just, he, he was just—he was just awesome. He snapped that dude's <laughs> leg in half, Joe Theismann's <laughs> leg in half, and he immediately was like. Get the EMTs over here. Like, <laughs> yeah. Fuck them all. Yeah. A heel would be like, fuck yeah, you, yeah, dude. Yeah. I broke your leg in half. Mm-hmm. He almost killed him, dude. That guy From the died. leg? Yeah, because you could bleed out. Oh, oh damn. dude. Yeah. Was the bone out? I think so. <sighs> it's crazy. Can you imagine being able to tackle somebody so hard that you could just like break them? It doesn't them? even look that bad until you see the, like the angle where his leg is just like. Was I feel like if I took a. NFL hit like if an NFL guy tackled <laughs> me, die I, would, I think I think would bones explode. would come. I think bones would come out <laughs> yeah, of the skin. Dude, if I took like, explode. It would be like you know, Doctor like, Manhattan and the Watchmen <laughs> when he gets stuck in that I, fucking I tank, dude. Particles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just Joey's. Joey's like it would be a wig. You know, it just be like, it would be floating <laughs> <Yeah>. down <laughs> and sit on the grass. And he would go. Tragedy has struck the football field today as a man was murdered by Micah Parsons. <laughs> it's, it's an open cat. <laughs> Getting just his hair is in there. It's like we had to bury something. <laughs> this <laughs> looks nothing like him. It's just smeared in. It's smeared. Like the, the coroner did a really nice job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're like teaching that play like in football, uh, like film. They're like you see, they're like rewinding it. They keep rewinding it right before you explode. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Okay, if you're going to die, you're going to die. And, like you have uh, specific like instructions for your for, like you, you're too afraid of plastic surgery all the life, but you put like for the coroner, like or like for the, the the, 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 like yeah, funeral, like, all the things I want, I want to big change. DSLs, <laughs> city implants, mm-hmm. and you get all your plastic surgery for your your open casket funeral. <laughs> so your family walks and they see you like, oh man, I want. He looks so fucking hot. You just look like Liza Minnelli. <laughs> yeah, or yeah, yeah. Get all like, this like lip filler. <laughs> <laughs> You got a Brazilian butt lift. Yeah. Your yeah. face down <laughs> in the cast. Your ass to be presented hard. <laughs> like I yeah. Your tits are, are so big they can't close the casket. <laughs> oh, nice, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, dude. I remember when my gra- the funniest was with my gra- at my grandpa's funeral. We we walked in. We dude, walked my grandpa's in. funeral was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, but my grandpa's funeral. We walk. We walked in, and I remember we were like, it was the it was a couple of my aunts and uncles who went in first. And as soon as I got to the casket, there was just this gas. There was just this gas because we get over there. My grandpa was like the most like just like nonchalant man. So the but the court the people the the wake people. They like lifted his hair, made like gave him makeup and stuff, and gave him like this suit. And so he looks like like a seventies like prospector. Okay. And this is like a dude who worked yeah. on the railroad. And so I remember everyone was just like, "This isn't what he looked like. <laughs> he looked nothing like this." He <laughs> looked <laughs> better than he ever yeah, looked. Right. It was the best. If he, it looked like if he had slicked back his hair, it's like, oh man, this man would have been like a millionaire. Like, <laughs> do you get your money back if they do something like if that? If they fuck up like, that, if you're like, dude, you fucked up. There's man. no way, dude. Then can you send him back? Yeah. <laughs> like a restaurant, you're like, this is not what I ordered. I'm they sorry. They basically did, and yeah. then so then for the funeral, they he came out and they put him in jeans and like a they're flannel. like throwing dirt on and him and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, they, they like, just they put him in the down. microwave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, All right. Oh, dude. Uh, why does it look like someone spit on grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> why is there a pubic hair on his nose? <laughs> Oh, dude! Oh, seeing a dead body is so fucking weird. Like at a funeral, it's it's just like they don't look real. They don't look Those like an actual doll. dead body. Why do we use a real dead body? Why not just have a doll that looks like? A- Actually, want to know some facts, some crazy shit. Yeah. So, in in the embalming process, this is a it's a really disgusting process that we do in the Western society's embalming because we're basically putting formaldehyde into bodies. 
burying them underground. Eventually, the ground eats the butt. Like, eventually, they'll dissolve into the ground. Mm -hmm. We're basically just dissolving formaldehyde yeah. into our soil water. You're just like, dumping that in there. Totally. And so, we're just we're creating, basically, like, a huge... Ec like a ecological pro is that ecological the right yeah. word yeah. yeah ecological problem by just basically dumping three to six ounces of formaldehyde into the ground or no it's it's way more than that but you only a little bit of formaldehyde you drink it'll kill you and so it just gets into the groundwater yeah. it's a weird thing we do where it's like what we should be doing is freezing bodies and and then hitting them with like a hammer until they break apart into soil well, you know what I want us to do here's what I think we should do is that just your theory or is <laughs> that's that like that's real thing, <laughs> thing. what yeah that's insane that isn't that the term insane. I thought you were about to say I thought cremation or no it's called resumation you freeze the body because cremation's bad because actually a lot of people like older people had mercury in their fillings releases mercury emissions into the atmosphere when we burn them so we should freeze <laughs> that people that can't be that much though I don't Here's what like I think. This was like a college paper. I here's wrote. what I think we should do. You get a bunch of dead bodies and a bunch of trash together. You put that on a rocket and you just shoot it to the sun. What's wrong with that? Mm -hmm. I don't see what's, what's, what's hurting that. that. You know, I don't see what's yeah. wrong with that. Probably just a lot of money on the rocket. Yeah, That's but you true. could do it for cheap. Yeah, you know, I would do it for cheap. Yeah, you could do that. For I would cheap. go. I want the cheapest rocket we can get that will go to the sun. <laughs> Because really, once you're in space, you just gotta you just gotta get to you space. Gotta get the and momentum then, going. And then it takes you. It yeah, just and goes, just aim yeah. it at, at the sun. Yeah. <laughs> or well, what if it was more be. like not so much a rocket, but it was like I don't know, like a, a balloon. Shot. It was like a balloon <laughs> like that got you up there, and then once you were up there, they strap like. Not a rocket, but like a like firework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and then it just like fucking jets you yeah. in the trajectory of the well, sun. You have to be precise though, because the sun. The sun's pretty big, dude. You, get, you don't have to be that by precise. By the time you get that stuff to the sun, though, I could eyeball it. Or honestly, though, <laughs> I, mean, you hold on, hold on. I could eyeball, I could eyeball now it. Now that I think about this, though, even if you don't get to the sun. If you miss the sun, who gives a shit? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's still gone now. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. you don't have to worry about it's it. It's like, anymore. are you going to be pissed off if you found out that your your grandpa didn't hit the sun? How, how hilarious that would this be because we orbit around the sun, so we shoot, miss the sun, and then by the time we get to the other side of the sun, it lands back on Earth. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Comes flying back. Yeah, we're like, get God sucked damn it. into the sun's orbit. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's the other thing. What if enough dead bodies and trash, like... Just got in orbit. Be and became, like, a new planet. Like you know? a garbage island of dead yeah, bodies. Yeah, dude. Yeah, but That'd planet be pretty tight. style. That'd be pretty tight. Trash Honestly, planet. we should just put the trash planet. We should put the, <laughs> the bodies. <laughs> dead guy trash planet. We should put the bodies on the garbage <laughs> island. Like, why not? Where's dude? the garbage island? Uh, the Pacific. Why do we have a fucking garbage island? <laughs> because because we rule, dude. We, because we <laughs> rule and have a ton of garbage. Doesn't that seem so stupid? Like that we <laughs> I just mean, have we didn't do it on purpose. Yeah, it seems like the Wait, dumbest the, thing. It's so it's not an You've island that was there before. You've never heard of this? Before. You've ever heard of this? Fuck no, I don't read the news, it's, brother. It's the it's <laughs> all the, the garbage in the jet streams and no, not jet stream. Yeah, right? yeah, is it's it up a jet in the stream? Air. Yeah. yeah, golf stream. Yeah, thing? golf stream. That's right. And the, it all gets um like basically centrifugally pushed into this mass. It's bigger than Texas, dude. Anytime, yeah. okay, from now on, the rest of the time, anytime we describe something scientific, we have to use as many big words yeah. as we can. Centrifugal. Can muster. Centrifugal pattern. Uh, of the, um, that's the biggest word I know. Dianetics. Uh, Dianetics is Scientology. Yeah, well, science. Science. Scientology. It's science. The religion of science. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the um, religion of geniuses. What, 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 what are we going to do about this big trash island? Dude, I mean, I think we start. What if it becomes I think its we own start, country? We start living on it. Yeah. yeah. Set up shop, dude. Dude, imagine Ready how cool. fucking pissed you'd be if you were a little fish and you're just going, you're like, I love the ocean, dude. This shit's awesome. <laughs> and then you just see, you're <laughs> like, what, the, what hell? the fuck is, what is that, a Chick-fil-A rapper? A, is that a Mountain Dew can? Yeah. What, oh, what is that, a, uh, uh, the things that hold bottles? Yeah. I want to swim through one yeah. of those. <laughs> I want to eat yeah. that thing. Yeah. Can't wait to put my head into this hole. <laughs> yeah, because I'm a fucking dumb turtle <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> Idiot. Honestly. No, but I have, it. like, I think it's big enough that it actually has its own ecosystem now. That's no, actually, it does. If, it the, does. if it does. the Ninja Turtles, if that was their kryptonite, was just like the six pack rings, like, yeah. <laughs> like the Ninja Turtles, they're like, Shredder, he put a six pack ring around Michelangelo <laughs> he can't get it off <laughs> dude that would be a great villain for them just uh, yeah. the opposite of Doctor or Captain Planet yeah oh yeah Captain Underpants you guys ever watch Captain Planet no no that show was geeked 
<laughs> yeah, it was all right. <laughs> it was lame though, because it was always like have to recite. He was like a pledge of allegiance in order to become Captain Planet. Or yeah, to summon him, I think. Mm-hmm. He'd be like, "To unite, uh, everyone." Under a better plan, uh, and don't litter. And then he would show up and be like, "You guys fucked it up again." Yeah, that's dude. Not, that would be not- awesome if he was just like a vengeful hero, and if somebody littered, he would just come and like saw you in half with his fucking laser eyes. Oh yeah, like a gritty reboot. Yeah, like Planet. the boys, yeah. the boys yeah. style. Yeah. Whatever happened to Captain? Where's Cap? Here's what Captain Planet. He got looks canceled, like dude. Yeah, for, <laughs> for, for uh, agreeing to frack. Yeah, it's like actually, you should do fracking. It's a good idea. <laughs> he was a big proponent of nuclear energy. Mm-hmm. The Jap- J- Japan one. <laughs> the J- Japan J- one. J- J- Japan. <laughs> <laughs> got to finish that word. You, you got to like, finish that I word, love you my say man. Japanese. <laughs> like you were going into Japanese, like thinking it was going to be a slur. You're like, Jap- Japan. Yeah. <laughs> Japan. You can never be too careful nowadays. What happened in Fukushima? <laughs> um, I think something got cracked and me, some dude. shit. Some some ooze leaked out. I mean, speaking of the turtles, I was I I was thinking like, what are we gonna do with the trash island? Seems like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That seems like their bread and butter. Live That'd out be there. So sick. You know? J- Japanese people just developed uh, uh, superpowers because of Fukushima. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. just like a bunch oh, yeah, of people. Dude. Like, yeah, I can like shoot lasers with. My that would eyes not be now. great for us because they would be wanting a little vengeance. I, I don't think, think for so, dude. I think we're cool now. I think, yeah, like, yeah, right. I think that's only because, cool, I think that's yeah. only because what we did. And if they were nuclear we're, powered superhumans, I think they might want to settle know, the dude, score I think a little we're on bit. Good terms, bro. I've talked to a lot of Japanese. <laughs> I, I'm gonna need you. Cool. All right, I'm gonna need cool. you to stop saying Japanese for a good five minutes here. It just it I'm, freaks I'm me out every you, time you start the word. And I will not do that. I will not do that. Where are you running into Dude, all these Japanese, Japanese people, people? If Japanese people had superpowers, it might sound a little something. <laughs> like that. Dude, I feel like Japanese people and Japanese culture straight up have like taken American culture and just made it like the apex of what we actually want it to be. You know what I mean? Because they have, like, the best electronics. They have the best food. Best fashion. They go, like, cr- yeah, they go crazy yeah, with, um like, business culture and Technology. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I think, I, I, but also I think they're, like, you know how there was, like, a time period where we were very obsessed with, like, French culture? Like, it was, like, French yeah. cuisine, uh-huh. French fashion, all that. I think Japanese is the new, because it's, like, even, like, you die, like Gen Z's obsessed with Japanese culture. From, yeah. like, you think we're going to be calling too. the Japanese gay in 20 years? Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> Japanese, that's very gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably, yes. That's probably exactly yes, yes. yeah, exactly. That's exactly Maybe. what's gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What will be the next culture? You think that will be very in? Uh, something Middle yeah. Eastern. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. I would, I would, I would agree. Uh, with maybe that, Iranian. Yeah. Like if 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 Iran can get out of the fucking I think like, gonna do. yeah, or but they Lebanese, have Lebanese, like yeah. Lebanon, like like yeah, they'll be they'll be something you know, definitely Middle Eastern. I or if it's like Saudi Arabian, you know. Yeah, that'd be that'd interesting. Be Dude, that'd it would be, be cool, honestly, if we could figure out shit with Russia because, like, Russian culture is actually a very good analog for American culture. And... Dude, I I get kind of annoyed with people these days, like talking like there's so much shit talk about Russia in American culture right now and like propaganda, and it's just like yeah, we dude, should be Russian, more pro Russia, all their war crimes. All <laughs> but dude, like when we're talking about Russia, we're talking about like just the fucking we're talking about Putin. I have met a lot of Russian people who were like cool as fuck, like oh, yeah, normal don't. people like us, and they just they have state sponsored media, so they don't know like what the fuck to. Oh, they like they just have the opinion that they're told to have, just like we do. Yeah, yeah you yeah. know, yeah. Russian um, history is wild, dude. It's, it's crazy, it's dude, and they history. they have uh, and they're they're actually they are a good uh, comparable uh, culture to us, and like landmass and like all of it is. I think that's why we don't like each other. Actually, a little sibling, a little sibling, sibling rivalry, rivalry yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. we got to turn the, uh, each other into step siblings. Ooh, ooh, Ste- yeah. If Russia was this, like stepsister. All yeah. of a sudden, it's starting oh, to get Russia's a little stuck sexy. Stuck in a giant washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> Needs America to come fucking in the ass out. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, hey, maybe. Putin, maybe. Hello. Yeah. Ring, ring, mm-hmm. ring, ring. Donald mm-hmm. Putin or whatever his Donald name. Putin. Victor Putin. <laughs> yeah, Donald Vladimir, Putin. right? Yeah. Vladimir. I've never Donald met Putin sounds about right though. Nice, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Vladimir 
Never met a guy I felt like I could trust with that name. Vladimir. Vladimir. Yeah. They always have a, a nickname after that. The Impaler. Well, I saw the <laughs> the, the non righteous. Mm -hmm. The the bone sucker. The, well, that one that one sounds a little bit. I mean that one. That's more of a double sounds, entendre. That, that one sounds kind of chill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was the guy yeah. who gets that. Who gets that? This is his nickname. He's like, oh hey, come, come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on. This <laughs> was Crusher. <laughs> it's, it's like a sucker. People, it's like this doesn't translate. This, yeah, people yeah. are gonna people are gonna have yeah. a lot of questions about this. Can I just be like the bone like destroyer? Just the no. bone. The Even bone. Like man. if I could just be the bone. The bone baby. Vladimir the bone baby. The bone baby. Baby bone. Baby bone is actually kind of cool dude yeah um damn yeah I've, i'm gonna be honest though as far as i'm concerned russia sucks right now, dude. i hate those guys yeah i mean i've 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 They're mentioned this to up. a couple people recently and everybody's always like dude fuck that no fuck that and then it's like yeah i guess i don't know yeah. Also, I don't like that uh, all the good movies that they make, none of them are in English. But when, and so then, like everyone, what? well, here's the thing: Stellaris or Solaris. I don't I think know that Solaris one. is really good. The only uh, Russian movie I've seen is Come and See, and it's not fucking even horrifying. It's a Belarusian. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. well, wasn't it from Soviet? No. Belarus. It's, uh, it's but Belarus. wasn't it from the Soviet era? You know. I don't know, but I just know the director was Bel from Belarus. Okay, it's all about, he survived it's, the Holocaust. It's all yeah, it's all about the take the Nazi takeover of Belarus. It's for the listeners. If that you want a movie, insane. <laughs> that movie's insane. Go yeah, yeah. seek out, come and see. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's if, you wanna, it's if you want a really disturbing, it's a good Saturday summertime night. watch. Yeah, summertime, <laughs> summertime <laughs> disturbing. You might know it, the big Russian director is Tarkovsky or something. Tar Tark like that, that, like film director, or that theater director, film director, film director. I don't know. But he directed Solaris. And here's the thing. All of his movies, everyone's always like, it's like the most beautiful cinema you'll ever see. Like, the cinematography is incredible. But then you're spending the whole time, and it's you're just reading, like, Russian turns of phrases <laughs> where it's like, if you don't have sex with yeah. Beaver, Beaver will take you. You know, and you're like, I don't know. Is that a joke? Or, yeah. And then it's They're like, like no. you, get a, you get a glimpse of, like, a beautiful stream and yeah. things are reflecting it. And then it's an, on to the next thing. Yeah. You know? I had a I had an era where I was really into Russian literature. Uh, yeah, I that's read, tough, man. Those books are hard. They're books. they're heady. Yeah. They're yeah, heady. I read Brothers Karamazov and Tur and then this other author. I read two of his books. I don't remember what the books were called, but it was Turgenev was the author. Okay, but I was very into that era. Yeah, I like uh, I like a lot of Russian literature, but yeah, it it. It's trippy. It's like weird that it's trippy to me. You know yeah, what I mean? It's really, like, it's really simple. It's like really yeah, simple, but, but just it's, like, it's like, all like, like psychological, mm -hmm. you know? They're always talking about class. Yeah. You know, it's like very simple. And then they're like, and then he thought about the bourgeoisie. Yeah. But like, this ah, is why I it, like Russians, actually, is that exact thing, because they're like so much more aware of like class and like kind of weirdly they're more like anti authority than we are in America but they don't have the the freedoms to actually do anything with it but do i they mean have we dogs don't really over there? dogs yeah, oh yeah bears. every no, time i, I think see they're a big video on of dogs. a russian guy is fucking with a bear yeah <laughs> why are they fucking that, stop fucking around with fucking bears around with if bear. i could give t two pieces of advice to russians Stop having sex in the woods and filming it. All their porn is in the what? woods. <laughs> and the other All thing, right, no, the other that's thing, a bad note, the other dude. thing, keep doing would that. Be, <laughs> would be to stop fucking around with bears. Yeah, you're gonna get killed. I'm man. more on board with that one than the yeah. yeah. All their, why is all their porn in the woods? Is that the only place that they can film? <laughs> I guess it's just the woods. Is, you want to fuck? You go in the woods. I, I guess I'm not watching that much Russian porn. Well, I am. And I'm pissed <laughs> off that it's in the woods. Ryan, Ryan has, have, has had every ounce of his identity so stolen. <laughs> He's watching his Russian porn. Yeah. There's yeah. so many impersonators. My name is Vladimir the Foolish, actually. Now. Dude, speaking of this, should we read an anonymous apology you real quick? Um, where is my phone? Is my phone... Uh, Do you want to save that one for when Tommy's here? I don't know. It's pretty... Uh, it, it feels relevant to the conversation. Right. Uh, I don't know where my phone is, though, so maybe... Uh, here, you guys keep going. I'm going to try All and find right. it quick. Joey, what else about Russia, man? What about what else? Russia? What are you thinking about Russia? Uh, I don't know. When I say Russia, what comes to your mind? The first first thing that comes to mind always is Rasputin and the end okay. of the... Uh, the I heard a lot of, of that, that stuff is like overblown. Like They didn't really have to kill him all those times. All the times they kill. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, they need to shoot him so many times. Yeah. 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 
<laughs> and then they threw him in the river, right? Yeah. yeah you think yeah. he was fucking the czar's wife or something? It's what it that's, seemed that's like. Pretty much. Yeah. I think like he was thought. fucking kind of everybody. Is the vibe? That's kind of the thought. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was before before they you know knew how to talk about polyamory. Yeah. You think the czar <laughs> was getting some dick? Yeah. You think he was getting some dick? No, from no, Rasputin? no. He was sickly, wasn't he? Wasn't he, was he like sickly? Yeah. He was sickly. Too sick to he handle had, like, the blood disease. Yeah. yeah. They do. Is the penis really on display? Yeah, I think it got blown up though. Like your penis got blown up? <laughs> Some terrorist It's like a balloon animal. Yeah, dude, I think when you put uh, your dick in like those fluids and shit, I think it makes it look bigger. It's like the opposite. <laughs> Have you been sticking your dick in embalming well, fluid? Yeah, I've been sticking my dick in formaldehyde. Think about, this, think about this. You get in the water, right? You're naked. You look down, you're like, my dick's looking pretty big and wide right now. <laughs> And then you get out of the water. What does your dick and balls do? Uh, shrinks. Small and thin. Shrinks. shrinks Looking up. small and thin. So think about yeah. this. If you constantly had your pee-pee in water, mm -hmm. big, weird, wavy-looking dick. <laughs> you're, you're just like you craft this pair of pants that is just like like those old school platform shoes yeah. that had water in them, but you could just have your dick hanging out yeah. like in an aquarium, basically. Yeah. Or you, or you, you, oh wait, you, the, yeah, yeah, that'd be very funny. Like underwear, but like that puts your dick in like a mason jar of water constantly. Yeah. It's like, I'm just trying to keep it big all the time. Yeah. I can't it's take just, it out. It's all like, if I take it out, it's going to shrivel into me. Actually. And I'll be very yeah. self-conscious. And this thing is like really hard to fill too. I'm going to so. have, I'm literally, I will literally have a man giant. <laughs> It will go inside, uh, uh, and you can uh, fuck it. You uh, can fuck my man giant. If I remove my dick and balls yes. from this mason jar. Yes. <laughs> Listeners, write in. Do you, think, do you think this is a good invention? Would you invest at least $50 million into this? All right. I found my phone. Listeners found the phone. We had a... Uh, uh, an email come in yesterday that was... <clears throat> Who's interesting? And this is uh, this is an anonymous. Apology. This is an anonymous apology. How, can How do people? Yeah, I was going to ask you the same well, question. They can go to wecoolpodcast.com dot com to yes. submit their own anonymous apology, yes. or you can call in if you want to hear your voice. If you're one of those freak narcissists who wants to hear your own voice, on yeah. A podcast, if you want to be on a podcast um, like some fucking loser, some loser. we. We will never memorize the number, but I we got will. It. Oh, Grant's six got one it. two three one four six four six nine, and that's also going to be in the episode notes too. So give us a jingle. Oh, give I, us thought, a I thought that was the listeners' number. I thought you were just no, giving yeah. out some <laughs> number that no. texted you. Okay, <laughs> give us a jingle, Santa Claus. Write in anonymously. Okay, now I'm just gonna read it, and we're gonna we're gonna debate or whatever. Um, hey, two wise. I want to apologize to Ryan for what I'm about to say. Masturbating to a picture of him made me squirt for the first time ever. It was great, so thanks for that. <clears throat> Crazy. Crazy masturbation. Truly. Cr truly. Here's the thing. Truly we, an insane when we, message. When yeah. we break this down, mm -hmm. initially, I want to apologize to Ryan. Yep. I think it's because of something I said on the podcast. That they're going to say something. I think yeah. I'm in trouble now. What do yeah. you mean? What do you mean? Just my name and apology. I think that I've said something bad, and then I got to. But they're apologizing to you. Oh, I so know. when you first, because I gave this to you to read last night, and yeah, I was I see like, "Apology," and I see Ryan, and I go, "Not good." Because Ryan, you're always on the defensive when it comes to. I am. When it comes to uh, and I'm the good podcast. I'm going to be defensive about this too. <laughs> 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 no, I don't even know. This is epic. That's awesome. <laughs> that made me feel good dude i almost told my girlfriend about it today and then i was like don't don't do that you know I, like someone squirted, squirted <laughs> and, uh, masturbating to a picture of me yeah what would she what what's she supposed to say to that yeah cool, oh man. That's so cool. i'm so lucky yeah. good <laughs> good uh, uh, glad glad i'm not gonna fuck you tonight yeah that is so yeah. funny to like yeah like to tell your significant other to be like yeah someone uh told me they would fuck me yeah, yeah. somebody because, was hitting on me because tonight. here's the thing yeah, I think you're, be excited. Yeah. When your significant other is like kind of your best friend, you're like, you, anytime you get good news or something that hypes you up, you want to yeah. tell them. Yeah. Yeah. Tell some of those yeah. things you they can't don't tell them. No, they sometimes don't translate. Sometimes they don't translate. Gonna, uh, she'd just be mad at me. Sometimes it's confusing. Sometimes yeah. it's just like it doesn't, yeah. Uh, I would get in trouble if I said that. But thank you. Feel free to keep doing that. I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah. It's not hurting anything. I mean, 
I, I, so the debate was last night when we were kind of talking about it, whether or not this is real. Cause this does seem like it could be a troll, but it it's also seems, written. It seems very troll. But like, just look at how it's written. It's, it's written earnestly. It's written in a way that. Two Y's, lowercase H, I wanna. It's, hey, I wanna. It's conversational. Paint you a picture, maybe. Like, it feels like it would be more elaborate. It's, but, but why apologize? But thanks. Does this submission look like spam? Report. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Report. I'm going to go ahead and just Don't report. report that. I'm going to report, report, report this message as spam. I would just say, I would also encourage any other listeners who have done this to also feel free to write in an apology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's more of a compliment than an apology. Uh, apology accepted, and you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, if it's yeah. if it's real, it's fucking yeah. epic. I'm gonna start dude. posting thirst traps. What I think thirst traps are, yeah. just be me very, showing belly. That'd be yeah. very fun. That'd yeah. be very, you should start. Yeah, I mean, yeah maybe you should, good. dude. People do talk about how attractive you are. Post hole. I don't get it. Nobody <laughs> ever comes up to me after a set and hits on me. Yeah. You don't really put off that vibe, though. Like, what, maybe. that I want to have sex? Well, <laughs> no, <laughs> you're not. I wouldn't call you necessarily super approachable after shows. Like, you you don't, you're not like, hey, come talk to me. You're not, like, hanging out for yeah. people to. If someone hits on me after a show, they clearly have a mental disability. Yeah. <laughs> That's, like, a huge <laughs> red flag for yeah, you. Yeah, huge red flag. They huge wheel up. Flag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really loved what you did up there when you said my penis hurts. <laughs> over and over? Over and over. I just thought that I didn't was really so get it until the seventh time you said it. Then everything kind of clicked for me. Oh, man. God damn it. so funny, though. What? Joey. Oh, that, that bit. It's so funny! It's such a funny. Yeah, bit. for the listeners, um, Joey puts on the most unhinged uh, stand-up act. I mean, you can really re- you have a wide range. It's been fun to act with this week, not swearing and like yeah. keeping it chill and stuff. But so, that, are that you doing like? Corner, are you doing? What's your approach like to? So you're hosting this week at Acme. Yes. Um, a lot of people. I don't think would consider you a host. They like the first swearing? thing that pops I think I'm a pretty good host. I, I, I agree. I like I'm just saying. Dude, like, it brings good energy. Yeah, I, 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 dude, I 100% voice. agree, dude. You like, you know. <laughs> I do. Give it up for Ryan Hamilton. <laughs> nice. I, I, told, I told him I have monster truck voice. And he came out the first night when he was shaking my hand. He goes, you do have monster truck voice. <laughs> <It's, it's> yeah, <laughs> dude. You, so what, why, what, did they ask you not to swear? No, no, like, no. It's too much up top. Ryan Hamilton doesn't swear at all. He's pretty dark, so I wouldn't call him like he's. They call him clean, but I wouldn't say he's that clean. I think he's yeah. kind of a dark comic. But he uh, was doing his. I, I, I went up, and in my first three minutes, every t- the, the audience was be with me. Every time I said a swear word, I could just feel them pull back sure. completely. And so the first night, I was like, as I was like three minutes in, I was like, okay, let's stop swearing. And every every joke, sex joke, drug joke, everything. As soon as I took out swear words, they were with me the entire way. Makes just sense. Swearing was pulling back, so I'm just I'm working this week on not swearing. Which, in the long run, to be honest, I think I swear too much. Yeah, I think I think I think I I think I think I got I, I swear too much, and I also think I let myself get a little too loose with the crazy. So it's fun hosting because it reminds you how to pull back a little mm-hmm. bit, and it's so, nice, dude. You'll um you'd be surprised how many people I think after a show are like, well, I liked him, but he did swear a lot. Yeah, you know, yeah, even like it, 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 even like younger it. people, I think, still have that like you're like breaking a little bit of a taboo. Hmm. Yeah, totally, yeah. because you hear it and it flags something. In your well, head. and then there are like sometimes you'll be in a pl- place in your set where you're just you have some space and you just kind of say fuck too hard or something, or you throw it, at, you say fuck in during a punchline or something and you're say just fucking like and then you say the race of a person yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, that, but, and then they pull back yeah, for yeah, some yeah. Reason. Like me now. these fucking crowds are idiots uh, but no you, you just it really sticks out i don't know it probably does it, it it's probably not something that they consciously are going oh that's that was that word but in my mind i go i didn't need to say that right there yeah. and it was like yeah. that's a crutch i just use that as a crutch i and, also realize how often i'm swearing in my punch Punchlines. Yeah, and it's just sure. like it's and like you really don't you need it. You really yeah. don't yeah. need to. But you think yeah. you do. You, th- you think you do. Yeah. You think it's like part of being the crazy like that. And it's and I I I've started to realize it's like oh yeah no I've been writing jokes for a couple. Honestly, of years. if you see a crazy guy on the street, they're usually funnier if they don't swear. 
Yeah, yeah, the guy who's like, the I'm like, Dutch, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, but if he's not swearing, yeah, you're like, yeah. yeah, he's not hurting anybody. Oh, yeah. this is a clean crazy guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we can bring the family. No, <laughs> corporate clean crazy guy. He's doing a Christmas PG-13. party. PG-13. <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah. A clean home. Also, just to bring My back. dinky winky hurts. <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you guys... um? Do you guys like to talk to people after the shows? I always feel, uh, I always get really self-conscious afterwards. They're like, um, because it's one of two things, right? Like either I feel like I had a really good set and then if they feel the same way and they're being really nice, it, I don't know where to go after like, hey, I really enjoyed your set. You ask them their name. Yeah. You talk to them for a while. Maybe they buy you a drink. I don't know where to go after that. Yeah. And, And then the other thing is like, if I'm not super happy with my set and they're like, hey, I really enjoyed it. Then my... Mentally, I always go, ah, thanks, you're, yeah, but you're I wasn't, just being you know, nice, like, whatever. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it wasn't my best. And so I always, I don't know, man, I always feel really weird interacting with, with like non-comics after a show. Never, I don't feel that way outside of like, yeah. you know. I, I, I um, I've, I've like learned that you have to. So yeah, for me, it's not so much a thing of like whether or not I like it there. It's more of like, oh, that was a good time or like, oh, those people like made that shitty. Um, Cause it's like people, uh, some people I think are aware and are like, Hey, I'm going to go say hi to this guy. I'm going to buy a sticker, maybe uh, talk a little bit and then move on. And then some people just linger. And that's like, that's, that sucks. Cause then you're just like, hey, maybe I have to make more of an effort at the end of my set. Like, hey, come say hi yeah. or something. Yeah, especially. I mean, uh, the the real reason I don't mind it is because it's like they give you money a lot. Of, if yeah. you have something to sell, then it's great incentive to talk with people. But beyond that, it is it is nice to go out there and like, because it's corny, but some people are like, yeah, that was great. I needed that, and it's yeah. just like I. It is corny, but I, it's kind of like, okay, that's like, this, that is ostensibly why we do this. Do you guys have this, like, um, I've like, I feel like I have this, like, aversion. You don't talk with people, though, do you? I don't really like yeah. to talk with people after this. I, I have, like, an yeah. aversion to making a connection with a stranger. Yeah. You know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. uh. Which is so funny, because you do stand up. Which is, like, I know. the well, actual I, fucking. In the, in I, the I know moment it, yeah. is the fun part. Yeah, but like, yeah, the nice, yeah. and then there's also, there's a super defined relationship. Like, yeah. a, there's a more defined relationship with yes. a stranger than, like, anything. You're basically, yeah. like, a cashier. Yeah. You're, you're like, a service worker yeah. at that point because there is, like, there's boundaries. Yeah. There's, there's um, social, uh, like, a social construct around how you're supposed to relate. But then when you're coming up to people after the show and stuff, that goes away. So it's like it's you're just hanging at the now, bar yeah. with these people. It's hard now. to transition into like now I'm I'm just hanging. Yeah. But I don't know. There's like a little bit of an art too to like giving the the signs that like you're kind of done talking with you know, people. You know, the number one exit is what? It's when a person I just shit my pants. <laughs> you know, I just shit my pants right now. I'm sorry. Uh, I fucking uh, I dutied. Uh, I dutied. I dutied right in my pants just so now because I had to poop for a long time, but then you kept talking and <laughs> and I didn't want to be rude. Now I have shit in my fucking pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, it. dude, and then the bad people will be like, it's cool. Yeah, I just, I'm care. just yeah. hanging anyway, I shit my man. pants early. You want to get yeah. a drink? You yeah. want another? You want a shot? And it's yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, I do. I do because I shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I need to forget yeah. this. I feel warm down there. I want to feel warm in my tummy. The weirdest now. thing. I hate when they offer you a shot, when people offer to buy you a shot and you turn it down because yeah. it's like, I'm, I don't want to get drunk. I'm just drinking beer. And they're, like, offend, they're offended by it. It's just like. I don't want to get drunk. I'm just drinking I'm beer. I'm just, no, I'm I'm just, just going to drink 14 beers. I'm going to drink 14 beers. I don't need a shot yeah, yeah, to exactly. fuck up yeah. my fucking yeah, I'm trying plan. to drive tonight, dude. Uh, <laughs> There's a tempo. There's a rhythm, dude, and you la- are not a part of it. Last night, like, Abenezer, one of his friends from high school, was at the show, and she, like, offered to buy me a shot of tequila, and I was like, I, I'm I got leaving. offered a shot last night, too. I was like, I'm leaving no. in, like, 30, 30 minutes, mm-hmm. right? And she was like... Oh, so you're not drinking? I'm like, no, nah, I'm gonna get like a beer. <laughs> <laughs> she was really nice, though. She offered to buy the beer. That's the perfect. Oh. You wanna, you wanna buy it? I was like, yeah. all right, all right, yeah. I'll take it. That's great. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's but. exactly how you interact with the comic after the show. Yeah. You go, you get. I would say, I need two minutes. Better. You get two minutes. I need to get better. Being just, like, because especially when we're like trying to sell stuff, it's like you do need to. There is a rhythm, and you yeah. gotta like talk with people, and you have to sense. Uh, the people behind you and stuff, but I, I'm sure that just gets like crazier and crazier the more successful you no. become. Like, 
No, dude, it gets easier. <laughs> dude, just <laughs> like full blown stalkers. Yeah, I don't think any of us are ever gonna have to worry. About Somebody's that. squirting Somebody's to squirting. your picture already. I, 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 I had a dude drive to Fargo to come oh see. Oh my that's god, sick. dude, I had a guy drive that's to Fargo, awesome. Yeah. And then, and then this, I'm just telling you to stop, dude. Just stop <laughs> encouraging <laughs> these people. I love you. Never learn. Work. You never learn. Yeah. You're just, I, I think the thing is, is I, I like, I like unhinged people. Like, I, yeah. like it, it, it's gonna get me in huge trouble someday. But I like, I like. Like when someone's a little off, like yeah. it's just like it's like oh, like and like you. Know, it, it sucks when somebody's off and they're not actually crazy. They're just like they live like a pretty boring life and they have nothing to contribute, but they're weird. Yeah. I like when people are weird and I'm like they're gonna say some weird stuff. Like yeah, it's, it's yeah. Fun. I don't like that. Oh, I, yeah. I don't like being around those people. Um, it depends how drunk I am. If I'm really drunk, yeah, love those guys. Yeah, dude. I love, yeah, those, love kind those guys. Of yeah, yeah. But if I'm not that drunk, I'm like, ah, what the fuck is yeah. going on? Yeah, there's nothing better than like sitting down at a bar, you're talking to somebody for like 30 seconds, they drop that they just got out of prison, and you're like, mm-hmm. oh, tell me all about it. Yeah. Why were you in there? Yeah. What did you do? What did you well, do? You were naughty. What'd you you do? were bad. What did you do? What'd you do, dude? Tell me. What'd Look me do? in my eyes and tell. <laughs> me what you did what'd you do what'd you, get what, what'd you do to hold on i'm about up? to google you <laughs> uh, what are your credits <laughs> <laughs> your next prisoner you may know from from nancy grace second degree rape uh <laughs> good lord <laughs> no no how do you do second degree what i is don't that? know uh, first degree felt a little bit too aggressive, is that right? not, first degree yeah. too aggressive. Yeah, yeah. that's when you thought about it for a while yeah. you're like yeah i'm gonna do it <laughs> i'm gonna do it the second degree i guess is just a heat of the moment thing. yeah good lord good lord, good lord. Mm-hmm. well i'm sorry we brought up rape today guys yeah. it sucks. Yeah. let's switch to manslaughter that's yeah, yeah i should have said manslaughter, manslaughter. that would have been funny somebody has, somebody has to have a joke about how manslaughter sounds like way worse than murder, murder. Adam, yeah. adam gilbert's got it adam gilbert adam oh yeah too, uh, he's got one of that so is good, good. he's good. really funny man. he's so funny and he's a and cool dude I love, yeah, yeah i love that guy that is you funny because you'll I, I don't know him but i i do know who he is and i've yeah. seen this stuff it's hilarious yeah. um but it is like you're like oh thank god i just got manslaughter like, <laughs> yeah 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 I th- i'm so lucky <laughs> yeah thank god i, I just slaughtered I only, a yeah. man yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, yeah. I, 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 we're, now we're just gonna end up doing his bit, so we gotta yeah. <laughs> we gotta move on. But like, you can kill somebody with a car, and it's manslaughter. Mm-hmm. Like, what the hell? Yeah, and they don't even sell his meat afterwards. <laughs> that's the big that's travesty. That's even worse. That's what's even that'd worse. That'd be manslaughter. sweet if that's what like the organ donor thing meant yeah. is that they just sell your meat when yeah. you die. If yeah. you do get manslaughtered, if they didn't mean to kill you, they do sell your arm. <laughs> just, just your arm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah dude. Uh, uh, I hate to I hate to be on this guy, but I think we gotta start rap. I think I gotta. I gotta yeah, all right, I mean, you guys. Can you want to start rapping? I gotta start taking off. Start yeah, yeah. I, mean, I hate to be this guy, but I gotta start sorry, rapping. Dude, sorry, dude, I'm no, drunk. A girl <laughs> rapped at me last night really? after the show. So we're talking about people coming up and talking to you after the show. A really drunk girl who's a super close talker. She was like talking to me face to face. She was like, "Do you want me to rap for you?" And I was like, "Sure." And she started <laughs> rapping, and then I was like, "No, no, <laughs> okay, stop. stop. That, that sucks. Stop, stop rapping. Yeah. Stop rapping." She was she doing her. She was hammered. She was calling. Jordy, she's like Jordy. <laughs> Jordy, you're crazy up there. Jordy. Let me rap at you, Jordy Hamburger. Jordy uh, Hamburger. White lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of Good course, God. <laughs> of course, dude. God. <laughs> no, it was Lizzo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Known cl- close talker. Known Lizzo. close talker, Lizzo. <laughs> dude, you do- white people do got to just stop rapping. I feel like, yeah. Hang it up. Yeah. Hang it up, dude. Yeah. We, we jumped the shark with Macklemore, and yeah. we're never coming back. We Mac got Miller's dead. It's over, dude. Yeah. It's like, uh, yeah. We it's got Eminem, over. and that's enough, you know? Yeah. He had a good run. Yeah, good run. He's got to, by the way, he's got to stop putting out music, too. Yeah. It just seems and like it's talking, getting worse too, and worse. And talking about music now. Yeah. Every time he talks about music, he's like, he sounds like an old man. I don't, know? yeah. I haven't heard an interview with him, like, uh, He's got beefs recently. with like all these young, like eighteen-year-old baby rappers. <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, yeah, dude, I hate little gay baby. <laughs> <laughs> little gay baby yeah. would be the best. Dude, good. little gay baby would be a fun rapper. Little, little, little honestly, baby. I'm little gay baby. <laughs> little gay baby on the track. Little sudden infant death syndrome. <laughs> what, my, the one I came up with the other day, young allegations. Young That's allegations <laughs> is good. I came up. I came up with another fake name. Hold on. 
Dude, you got he got some fake names. Yeah, hold on. Uh, let me just find it. Yeah, you can. We're gonna wrap in like five minutes. You can feel free to take off whenever. Sweet. Um, do oh, you, wanna- you know, uh, uh, fats, fat, dom- fats I'm Domino. Uh huh. Fats Dominoes. Or yeah. Fats Domino. Uh huh. What about Skinny Pizza Hut? <laughs> he's, a, he's a jazz legend. <laughs> The name's Skinny Pizza Hut. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, did we already talk about Howie Zimbabwe? Yeah, I all think right. we did. All right. Yeah. Well, then that's all I have. Howie Zimbabwe. <laughs> no. Uh, what about, what's the opposite of jazz? <sighs> country? No. because no, country, they're riffing around. Jazz. Uh, maybe like techno? Yeah, dude. Like house music? Yeah, and he wears like a suit still. He wears like the suit and the fedora. Yeah, you know? and that's Howie Zimbabwe? No, that's um, that's Skinny Pizza Hut. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Fats Domino was jazz necessarily. I thought was he was, he? wasn't he? I what feel like he he's more he a like. Pool player? I feel like there's a pool player named Fats Domino. That's um. I don't. He I was think, another guy named Fats. Though. I think you're thinking of uh, the movie The uh, The Color of Money with Maybe Paul Newman. I think it's like Minnesota Fats or something as the guy's. Maybe you're the pool right. hustler. Everybody back then was uh, named after how yeah. much they weigh, or like, and, and like a city up. that they that they did something in. Yeah, uh, that yeah. that's Austin, Texas. Lazy, yeah. eye, lazy, eye chubby, te- chubby Toledo. Yeah, um, dude, chubby Toledo is kind of fire. Yeah, chubby Toledo, girthy, girthy, uh, <laughs> Plano, <laughs> Plano. <laughs> yeah, Texas. Yeah, girthy. Uh huh. Mm. Girth day. Um, happy Girth Day. Yep. What about that? It's good. <sighs> well, all right. That's it, folks. Uh, we'll wait for Joey to come back to wrap up, but so I, it's that just going to plug be, some stuff. Yeah, it's just going to be dead air until then. Yeah. Know? Well, what what do you do with dead air? Like what? Uh, what do, we what need to bring out the fill the time defibrillators, the discribulators, the ship, the scrabbleators, the ship poop scrubs. Discrubulators. Miranda looked at Miranda and I looked at an apartment today. Yeah, two thousand dollar rent. Fuck, I dude. Know. But I think everything's included in that. And I'm like, like everything, like utilities parking, and stuff. Utilities. I think maybe we'd be paying like another hundred with like our pet rent. Okay. And like utilities. Yeah, I mean, you're probably getting close to that. Like, if you're paying all that stuff on your own, I know. honestly, it's a nice ass place, though. Yeah. Yeah, we might move in. Nice. Joey, um, do you want to come over here and plug whatever you want to plug? Oh, hell yeah. Um, I mean, the biggest one? The biggest one hop on the mic. The biggest one I'll plug is if you like short films, my uh, watch some of my short films online, and then I'm also there just by took offline because I was trying to get into a festival that I wasn't supposed to be online for, but it was already online. But I probably won't get into that festival because it's already online. You had to take it down? I took it, I took it down because I applied for one where they didn't okay. want it up publicly available. Yeah. So I, but I probably won't get into that one. So once in like a week, I'm going to put up There's a Spot again. So watch okay. my short film, There's a Spot. Yeah, nice. we didn't mention Joey. Very accomplished. Uh, Artist playwright. all around, playwright, uh, director, oh. stand up comedy. I don't know if yeah, it's going to be any good. Run, dude. I don't know if any, it's going to be any good, but I think this comes out in time. If you're in Minneapolis, a young theater company is putting on my favorite play I've ever written about the assassination of Franz Ferdinand. Hell yeah. And that's going on next weekend. And I think it runs next weekend and even the weekend after. I'm not going to be able to see it. Do you get money from that if they put on yeah, your Yeah, I, I, I charged sick, them a stipend dude. for That's it sick, and stuff. Man. Like, but I, it'll, I, What are we uh, talking, 40, 50 grand? Yeah, 50 grand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I made this 25-year-old kid baby 50 grand. Hell yeah. He took out multiple loans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good job, dude. Yeah, yeah, no. But, I, uh, but I'm stoked. I hope it's good. And, oh, yeah. But I have no idea. But it is my favorite play. So hopefully it comes oh, yeah. through. Hell yes, I really liked brother. Boom a lot when I saw it. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Name of it? Kaboom, yeah, Kaboom, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was a great one. Cool, it was really fun. Um, yeah, go check out Joey. Follow his Instagram. Where's your Where's your short films? Your YouTube? Yeah, just YouTube Vimeo. Okay, so, cool. I gotta hit the bike and head okay. back. Yeah, I'll see you over for, there. I'm gonna guys. pop over. Joey. Yeah, dude, good, good to see seeing you. you Have a good set tonight. Hey, and then, you um, too. I catch you guys soon. Yeah, dude. Peace, guys. Thanks for doing the pod, Joey. Yeah. That was squeaky clean Joey Hamburger. <laughs> clean corporate comedian. The squeaky man himself. Dr. Joseph Q. Hamburger making his second appearance on the podcast. You uh, you want to thank people for coming out this past weekend? Yeah. Uh, we're recording this 
Saturday before uh, the show, um, Friday night uh, at Comedy Corner Underground was fantastic. Thank you all to to those of you to listeners the millions who, came, who out. came out and tried to get in and couldn't. Yes, yeah. Sorry, we had to turn so many of you away. Mm-hmm. Honestly, you no, know, there was a lot it's of people a good problem there. to have. Yeah, yeah, we did pretty good. Did pretty good. Came came close enough to a sellout that I'll probably start calling it that the farther we get away from the weekend. Good. good. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, for real. It's uh, it's heartwarming. It's it's a bit intimidating, you know, to have to have people there to actually see you is, uh, you know, most of the time we're just out in fucking bumfuck nowhere. And there's and no, they there's have nothing no else risk, to do. Yeah. There's no, we're the only option. It's humbling, you know? kind of, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. So I'm uh, I'm very thankful, and I think. Uh, the podcast played a big part in being able to uh, to do this, and I, I look forward to you doing the same thing at the end of the month, Ryan. It's uh, it's pretty cool. It's a little bit surreal, and it's also kind of like I don't know. It feels like fake a little bit, like we kind of just made it all up, you know, um, which we did. But then it's like there's actually people there because yeah. most of the time. It's so weird having this podcast because people like keep writing in and it's so easy to just like, we talk shit about it constantly about our own podcast and how it's like nobody listens, but but there are people out there. There are a lot of people. And And that's better though than being like, yeah, our podcast kicks ass and it rules. That's like how you become a, uh, just like an insufferable person. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yes, thank you to everybody. Thank you for the support. Uh, it's, it's really fun. Um, and yeah, we're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep yeah, fucking dude. plugging away. Uh, I got nothing really to plug. Oh, I did, I guess, I don't know. I got, I'm got. i taking it kind of easy this summer, but I got into Madison Comedy Week, which I'm That's stoked fun, about. Dude. And so I'll be there. I'll be in August. I'll be in Madison. So there will be more details coming out about that soon. Uh, what you got, man? It's a fun one. Madison oh, and Comedy thank you for doing the shows, man. Yeah, of course. I, uh, I honestly love uh, I tr- performing stand-up with you. So. Grant. I truly had nothing better. <laughs> no. um, yeah, dude. No, thank you for having me. I it, last night was a blast, and I'm sure tonight's going to be the same. Um, and yeah, if if you got nothing better to do, uh, <laughs> June 30th and July 1st, I would love it if you were able to come. Also, I will apologize for being cranky that I found out there was going to be a contest last episode. Um, I think we cut most of that. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. Because I was thinking about that. I was like, well. Almost none of it made it in. Okay. Well, if you heard me being cranky, I'm sorry I was being cranky. Um, And I am very much looking forward to those shows. So June 30th, July 1st, please come out. If I don't have the same number of people (laughs) that Grant had at his shows, I will kill myself. Yeah. Actually, he's more likely to kill me, I feel like. (laughs) Honestly. (laughs) Please come out and sell Ryan shows better than mine because he will be fucking insufferable I will go family annihilator (laughs) mode, dude. I will He's going to kill me with a bow flex. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, dude. I'm going to Chris Benoit your ass. Um, No, but yeah. June 30th, July 1st. Come out. Um, and hey, talk to me after the show. I'm trying to get better yeah. about being more approachable. There we so, go. Uh, thank you for listening and go fuck yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Bye. I'm just playing. I'm bye. just kidding. Bye.